Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question set mismatch. In this question, we are given a set of integers s which originally contains all the numbers from 1 to n. Unfortunately, due to some error, one of the numbers in s got duplicated to another number in the set which results in repetition of one number and loss of another number. You are given an integer array nums representing the data status of this set after the error and we need to find the number that occurred twice in the number that is missing and return them in the form of an array. So in the first example, we can see that there are total of four numbers and two is being repeated and three is the missing number. So we return the output as two comma three and similarly in the example two. So it's an easy question and we just need to find which number is the missing one and which numbers has occurred twice. We'll count the occurrence of each number and then we can just return the two numbers one whose count is 0 and one whose count is 2. So let's see how we'll code that. So we'll have an array which will be of the size nums.length as it is given to us that there will be 1 to n numbers. Now here we are taking nums.length so we need to take care that the value starting from the array should be from 0 to n minus 1. So we'll take care of that while we are iterating over the array nums. Now we will have a result array which we need to return and this will be of the size Two. At the end, we just need to return this result array. First, we'll iterate over the array nums and for each of the value, we need to increment the count of it. We are doing i minus 1 because the array is starting from 0th index and now we will just simply loop from i till the array dot length finding if the value at this position i is equals to 2 equals to 2 means the number has occurred twice so we will put the index plus 1 at 0th index of result array we are doing plus 1 because the number ranges from 1 to n and now the second condition for the missing number if the value at ith index is 0 that means it is the missing number and we will just put this value at the first index of result i plus 1. So this completes the coding part. Let's run this code. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time and space complexity of this approach is O of n. Now we'll see how we can solve this problem without using any additional space. So as the quotient states that the number will be between 1 to n, so all the numbers will be at least positive. We will see how we can solve this. So let's see that with the help of an example. Suppose this is the example given to us and we need to find the missing number and the repetitive number. So first we need to see that these values are in the array. So they will have an index assigned to them. Now we will be using the index heavily in this approach. So let's see how we can do that. We'll start off with iterating from the zeroth index all the way to the end of the array. And at each index there will be a value present. What we need to do is we need to take that value and find the index from that value. So the index of 1 will become 0 and so we will convert the number at 0th index into minus 1. In this case it is the same number but since the array can be unsorted the number and the index can be different. Then we move the pointer to the next index. And now we come across index 1 whose value is 2. So we convert the value to minus 2 in this case also. What we are effectively doing is we are turning the value at nums of nums pointer minus 1 to negative. So we are finding the value at this pointer which is our current index taking that value doing a minus 1 as an array is 0 index based data structure and then negating the value present at this new index that we got. So this nums of pointer in this case was 2. So what we did is we change the value at nums of 2 minus 1 that is nums of 1 to negative which in this case becomes minus 2. Now we move again the pointer to the next index and in this case the index whose values is to be negated is index 1 as we have nums of 2 minus 1 again. So in this case we see that we have already turned the value present at this index 1 into negative which implies that we have already seen this value. So this value is nothing but 
the repetitive value that we need to find. So we'll store that into a variable. We'll continue turning all the values to the negative values by moving our index till the end of the array. And at the end, we will get this array. Now, how do we find the value which was missing? Now, when we again go through the array from zero to the end of the array, we'll find one index whose value will not be turned into negative value. That index plus one is the number which was missing from the array. So now let's see how we can code this and it will be more clear then. So let's remove this for loop and this array and we'll still need this result. We need to first iterate over all the values of this nums. So if the value present at this position is already negative, that means we have already seen this value and this value is now become the repeated value. So we'll store that into the result array at zeroth index. So we'll store the absolute value at i. Else we haven't seen this value before. So we'll convert this value into negative. So we have found the repeated number with this first for loop and now we need to find the missing number. You know, to find the missing number, we'll iterate the loop from i to nums.length and if any of the value is greater than 0, then this index plus 1 is the answer. So we'll put that at index 1. Let's run this code. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity in this case is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. There are many other ways to solve this problem, one using bit manipulation also. We'll discuss that approach in further videos. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.